These locker room shots are brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Well, a touch overshadowed tonight as he makes his much anticipated return is the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. His training output is truly the stuff of legends. And with his 10 fight winning streak still in tow, El Cuckoo is hungry to resume his quest for undisputed UFC greatness. A man who has been at the top of the pack before, enter Milwaukee's best, Anthony Showtime Pettis. This man is revitalized. He has returned to the form that saw him realize a UFC championship five years ago. And Showtime is no stranger to the brightest of lights. And he can vault right back into contention with an upset of Ferguson tonight in Las Vegas. Well, as you might expect, the celebs are out here tonight. Mel Gibson was here early for the UFC festivities. Well, his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, his present. This massive co-main event tonight against Tony Ferguson. Here is Anthony Showtime, Madison Joe. He really has taken his training approach back into his own hands, trying to get back to the fighter that realized the UFC title five years ago. Well, he, feel like, he feels like he fixed something that wasn't broken. He had a style where he would throw these wild kicks and punches, and if you took him down, he would submit you. And then he felt like he was out-wrestled by a few guys, so he had to change his style up and work more on his wrestling and tighten up that aspect of his game. But in doing so, he diminished some of the striking, he diminished some of the submission. Then he decided, before the Chiesa fight, I'm gonna go back to the old way. Right. Wild, reckless striking, you take me down and submit you, that's exactly what he did with Chiesa, and it feels like he's back. But we gotta remember, Anthony Pettis is still only 31 years of age. Right. Right? I mean, former WEC champion, former UFC champion, has beaten some of the best in the game, Gilbert Melendez, knocked out Cowboy Cerrone. When he's at his best, he's a wild, creative striker with some of the most dynamic kicks in the game. Tonight's prep point brought to you by Harley Davidson. When you fire up an HD motorcycle, adrenaline kicks in and refuses to tap out. Check it out at h-d.com slash explore and dom. He feels like his instincts and his reactions are as good as anyone's in the game, and why not lean on it, says Ben. Well, he says that comes from his mentality outside of the octagon. He worked on his brain outside, and it fixed his mentality inside the octagon. So the biggest thing that makes me excited about this fight is he said, one, I want to make this fight have it. I want it to be chaotic, and I want to embrace it. And I said, well, that's what Tony Ferguson wants. And he says, exactly. So these two are going to meet head on head, and he's okay with that. And that's what he said in the pre-fight. You've got to be okay in the habit of Ferguson if you're going to beat him. And you got to get him in between the transitions where he has a hold in his game. He considered the decision a loss, is what he told me. So this is he's going for the finish, and he's going hard, like usual. 15th UFC appearance for Showtime Menace, a plus 300 underdog at close here tonight. And time now to welcome back a man with one of the best lightweight resumes in UFC history, the first and as yet only man to put together a 10-fight winning streak at 155 pounds. Khabib has won 10 in a row. A couple of those were catchweight fights. His training is legendary. Tony Ferguson, six months after a major knee surgery, back to the octagon. He's a brilliant weirdo. That's what I would say yeah. about Tony Ferguson. He's brilliant. The guy shows up to the weigh-ins with ankle weights on. I mean, I don't, I don't even understand what he's doing there. Yeah. But that's Tony Ferguson. He's beat, he marches to the beat of his own beatbox inside of his brain. He builds his own gym. He has, but he, he sets up training camp in Big Bear. He does all the construction himself. Yeah. He lays out the mats. He hangs up all the bars, all the different things he's going to work out with. And he's got the best darts choke in the game. Catches it from everywhere. Brilliantly creative on the ground. Brilliantly creative standing up. He's a very, very interesting guy. What you said about Big Bear attests to the fact that he prepares cardio strength and strength and conditioning to the max. He believes, I already know how to fight. I'm going to do the technique. That's the easy part. The one and only thing I can control is whether I get tired or not. So I simply won't ever get tired. And therefore, my technique will always be there because that's what I do, I fight. That's what's in my blood. That's how I train. My reactions will be there if I don't get tired. But if I get tired, it doesn't matter. 
conditioning to make a coward of us all. He lives by that. Yeah. And he focuses on it. And then in there, he shines because he knows there's nothing he can do that's going to stop him other than you putting his lights out. He hasn't had a sip of alcohol since February. He feels like that has him in the best shape of his life. And you're right, Dom, that ability to push himself and push himself past his limits is what he believes sets him apart. You might be looking at the most exciting fighter pound for pound in mixed martial arts today. All right, this tale of the tape brought to you by Modelo Espessi, all proved with a fighting spirit since 1925. Ferguson, 34 years old. Incredibly, Anthony Showtime Pettis still just 31. Ferguson, the slightly taller man. He will have a four-inch edge in reach. All right, now to get you started for the co-main event, here is Bruce Buffy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Sponsored by Motel 6. When you're ready to tap out, book online at motel6.com. We'll leave the light on for you. And Nemirov, bold character since 8, 1972. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record, 21 wins, Seven losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former WEC lightweight champion and the former UFC lightweight champion, presenting the number eight ranked lightweight contender in the world, Anthony Showtime. Ben And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter holding a professional record. 24 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the former interim UFC lightweight champion and the number two right lightweight contender in the world, Tony Alcacui Ferguson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog, our referee. Brittany Palmer, thank you very much. Ready to go here, round one of three in this co-main event to be followed by Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Back on that UFC ready. canvas for Are the first ready? time in about a year, taking on Showtime Pettis. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. Ferguson came home from the hospital after surgery in April, immediately started doing 20-pound curls until he couldn't work out anymore. He is a freak. See Pettis going right after the knees, right away at Ferguson. Right away. Right, right after away. the leg. And it already hurts. You see him limping already. Can't get kicked in the legs. That hurts. And Ferguson returns to him. And you see the scar on the side of his knee. Pettis going right after that yeah, mid leg. Yeah, it seems like Ferguson's limping a little bit on that leg. It looks like it hurts. He just got yes. kicked in it very hard. Well, you got to realize, when you're talking about six months from a catastrophic knee surgery like that, I mean, completely detached from the bone, massive scar, you got to wonder if it's 100%. It's only been six months? Yeah, April. It's Injury was April 1st. Well, Dom, you're a guy who's come back from multiple surgeries. You know how long it takes. It's very rare that someone can come back from a gigantic knee surgery and be 100% after six months. Well, six months is a ridiculous time frame, I'll be honest. It takes at least nine to get as strong as you need it. So the fact that he's pushing the pace like that is pretty crazy. Nice yeah, stick. and I don't like the way he's moving. It looks like it's hurt. They might have rushed it, but we don't know. Yeah, you can't yeah, talk we don't about know. that with Ferguson. Right, well, it could have been the kicks that, that Pettis landed. Because he looks good now. Or it could be that it's hurt. The biggest thing Ferguson said he wanted to do is utilize his jab in this fight. That was going to be the biggest problem for Pettis. 
And what's cool about it is he switches and he's got a really good southpaw jab and a really good conventional jab. Oh yeah, he can absolutely fight from anywhere. The question is, did he give himself enough time to recover from the surgery? And he did no physical therapy. He took his recovery into his own hands, none. I don't know what to say about any of that. I honestly have no words shocked. for that. Don't shoot the messenger. He's crazy. I'm not shocked. Yeah. But I mean, he's brilliant in that regard. Correct. That's his own way. The Pettis camp felt like they picked up a lot of things on tape of Ferguson being a hittable guy. Tony said, watch all the film you want. I'll pick him apart on the feet. So we have hit the midpoint of round one. Locked it all, though. And nothing landed. Well, he spends a lot of time working on the Wing Chun dummy. He does that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he does a lot of really unorthodox stuff in terms of mixed martial arts. Your friend Eddie Bravo talks about him training for six hours straight. I mean, it's absurd. Well, Eddie's trained with a lot of guys. He said he's never seen anyone with the kind of endurance that Tony has. I know you hit that elliptical for two hours the other day. I mean, his pressure is crazy. The pressure that he's putting on Pettis right now is silly. This is exhausting to move the way Pettis has to. And he's guessing, too, because look how, Pe look how Ferguson moves his head, switches combinations, switches, always giving you a different look and always pressuring you. And he's not chasing. He's heading off Pettis. Yeah, tremendous pressure. And whatever we thought was going on with his leg earlier might have just been, ooh, and there's another hard leg kick to that leg. But he looks fine. Yeah, nice counter right from Ferguson. And he's using it a lot. Inside leg kick with that leg, he's landed several to Pettis' left leg. Tremendous pressure, though. Look at him. Pettis doing a good job seeing everything. The only thing that worries me is moving back this much is exhausting if you're Pettis. That pressure is just ridiculous. And he's got to clinch him or do something to deal with the pressure. Go to the body of Ferguson, fake a shot, throw up a cut, throw knees, something. Because right now, Pettis, or Ferguson is just on it. All over him. Front kick to the body, inside leg kick again. I mean, he is just smothering Pettis. Pettis just can't get any space. He's basically keeping him in a phone booth by heading him off. And he's slowing down. You're seeing Pettis' punches coming slower. Well, the key is of what Ferguson's doing game plan wise is now Pettis doesn't have this trickiness. He can't make reads, he can't have timing because he's moving back the whole time. Blocked. Nice left hand there, stuck by Ferguson. Beautiful uppercut. And look at him, walking him down, talking to him. Beautiful jab there by Ferguson, former two-time All-American wrestler at Grand Valley State University as a wrestler. Again, inside leg kick twice. And just does not get tired. It's yeah. one of the craziest things about this guy. And I about, think, sorry Joe, go ahead. Just as mentally tough as it comes, and he draws such strength from that. Couple oh. big right hands from Ferguson. Oh, Pettis shakes him off, but a strong close to round one for El Kukui. What a round. Good, breathe. Okay. Good round. Here's what I need you to do though, okay? Breathe. Get some water in you, okay? Drink. There you go. Big mouth. All right, so listen to me. Keep hitting over his kicks, okay? Every time he kicks, he's wide open. Quick punch combo, kick at the end of it. You're doing great. Keep your hands high, though, Perry. I like your swagger. I like the mentality. Uh, <laughs> Don't aim so that's high it, right there. Don't aim that's aim my. There you go. Don't aim so high every time, you hear me? Don't aim so high. Don't aim so high. Right. Give me a smile. Give me a smile. There you go. There you, go. Go. you took his heart. Put the press hey, on him. Head move. Head movement, the final thing in terms of the messaging from the Ferguson corner. Round two here. Second round, fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Fight! Well, the pressure's already exhausting, but then you add the fact that he's pressuring by switching stance, so that takes away your counter reads, too. And then he's kicking your legs when he switches stance. Yeah, he's chewing. Oh, he got him! Oh. He's hurt! And that's one thing about Pettis, he can finish any Pettis! He's on him! He's on him! He's attacking the leg! Oh, Ferguson bleeding bad here, busted open! Beautiful by Pettis. And that's the thing, Pettis wanted a war. He wanted to feel this pain, and so he's, he's in it. 
and now he got what he wanted. He hurt Ferguson, and now he has Ferguson's respect. There's a lot of blood coming from somewhere. Might be his jaw. Yeah, it looks like the mouth of Tony Ferguson. So some definite adversity here for Ferguson. Pettis has got to be very careful of Tony's guard, though. I would like to see him try to just stand up. I'm just glad this is on the ground because I want to see these two gentlemen grapple. Ferguson right after it, immediately staying offensive. Well, there's a tremendous amount of blood coming out of Tony Ferguson's mouth. And you've got to wonder what is going on. I think it's from his head. A lot of it coming is from it Pettis, Pettis too. Head? It's got to be the top of his head. Or is it, I don't know, I can't It tell. might be from both gentlemen. Yeah, they're both cut to Pettis pieces. Lose. Oh, yeah. Pettis is yeah, Pettis losing is a ton of blood here. Elbow from Ferguson. This fight as advertised so far. This is what they wanted, and this is what yeah, we get. Jason Herzog's going to check that cut oh, of Anthony no. Pettis. I think it was on the ground that he landed that. I think he threw it in the guard on, and landed it on Anthony in the, in the guard. This can't be that bad that they have to stop this. No, well, right. It's not above the eye, so they won't, they won't stop it because it's not above the eye. Oh, it's in the hairline. It's a giant cut yeah. on the right side of his head. I need another rag for his eyes. Please, a rag. How are we doing? He's good. He's fine. Okay. One moment. I need a rag. Let's get over. Let's get over. now calling for a rag to okay. clear Tony's okay. eyes. Okay. Good refing. Good refing by Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog, one of the best in the business. Here this is go. a fight. We are the only three gentlemen sitting in the T-Mobile Arena right now. Woo! Oh, my goodness. It's getting wild. <laughs> I'm just thankful for this fight right here, right now. <laughs> I mean, how's this as an appetizer for Khabib and Connor? Three minutes to go in this second of a possible three rounds. Ferguson ripping the body there. Ferguson seems to have fully recovered. And he's never even looked tired for a second. Just his head got jogged a little. Watch Pettis look for an overhand right. It's there all night. Pettis flat against the cage here. But he's looking like the pressure is just too much again like it was earlier. He landed a beautiful shot in between, and that's what he was saying he needed to do. Find the openings and land. Non-stop output and forward motion from Tony Ferguson. I mean, he puts pressure on you like no one else in the business. Right hand to the body. Oh. Right hand. That is forced to retreat here under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, left hook. That is just taking a lot of big shots here, Joe. Oh, big elbow. I mean, Ferguson oh, is just not. He's sliced up the left side of him as well now. See, the thing about Ferguson is he loves the pain. He does. Pettis, I think, cut from that cloth as well. He is masked in blood here. Pettis showing his toughness right now. He's not out of this. He's still throwing heat, and he can still drop Ferguson at any point. We've seen it. Oh, beautiful. Grab the hand, slip over the top with an elbow. the right hand. That's there all night for him if he can fire it at the right time. Ooh. Left hand lands flush for Pettis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't take this after the Derek Lewis fight. They're literally fighting in a phone booth right now. This is amazing. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another elbow from Tony Ferguson under a minute to go in the round. These guys are just exchanging in the corners. Oh, that cut on Anthony Pettis is something else. Nice elbows by Ferguson. He mixes it up so well, and he doesn't stop being offensive. No such thing as breathing room when you're fighting Tony Ferguson. Oh! oh. landed very heavy. Ferguson's hitting him very hard. Pettis needs to get on his bike and start moving. He can't sit here like this. And we just got a shower with blood here on the move. move. Final seconds of the round. Pettis covers it. Mixed pressure. Oh, 
gracious. Unbelievable pressure. Unreal fight so far. UFC at 229, Khabib versus McGregor is presented by Harley Davidson. When you fire up an HD motorcycle, adrenaline kicks in and refuses to Three. tap out. Check right, it out at okay. h-d.com slash explore. Breathe, Anthony. Big breath. Yeah, we're covered with okay, blood. Okay, you're good. You got to look up, Look up, look up. What do you want to do? If yeah, you can't go, we got to stop me. it. What do you want to do? You tell me. That hand's broken? Yeah. What do you want to do? I don't want you going out there if you can't fight the way you need to fight, all right? I, I can't have you fighting him if you didn't got that hand, all right? All right. Hand's broken. Yeah, that's he it. broke his hand. So that's wow. the fight. Anthony Pettis breaks his I right hand. Duke Roof is not going to send his longtime wow. pupil out there. Somewhat anticlimactic, but El Kukui is back in a big way tonight. Wow, that's surprising. Broke his hand, can't continue. You know, we you know, sometimes sit here and bemoan the fact that corners don't save their fighters often enough. I know people are going to take issue with this. Any thoughts, Joe, in the immediate well, aftermath of that decision? No one knows Anthony Pettis better than Duke Rufus. If Duke Rufus thinks it's a good idea to stop the fight, there's no way anyone so should disagree with that. He knows what should be done, what shouldn't be done. It's one of his big, biggest weapons. If he broke his hand, and it seemed like he didn't want to continue either. Yeah. He didn't want to fight this monster with one hand. Right. You know, it's a good move because Tony Ferguson probably would have just beat the snot out of him. And how about the outpouring of emotion from Tony Ferguson? We tried to set it up as best we could, but what the last six months have held for this absolute warrior of a human being to come back and produce the way he did tonight is truly the stuff of legends. His UFC record lightweight winning streak is now 11. And for Anthony Showtime Pettis, his stock rises in defeat. Here tonight, this replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. You can't be anything but thankful for these gentlemen for a fight like that. Incredible. And here we go, insane, the big right hand lands. He throws an inside kick and Pettis just hits him with a huge right hand and just puts him down. Then here you see he's cut and he's finally just like, yes, this is what I wanted, Havoc. And he gets it. Ferguson cuts him over his left eye. Elbows grabbing the hands the whole time. Non-stop punches trading. These guys are fighting in a phone booth, bleeding all over each other, bleeding all over us. Reckless abandonment. Bodies were put on the shelf, and they just didn't care. And Ferguson looking back at Pettis. Got you. Got you. You're done. I see you. Well, we build him as arguably the most exciting fighter in mixed martial arts at present. And Tony Ferguson certainly live by those words yet again here tonight. The official decision brought to you by Metro PCS. Now Metro by T-Mobile. Discover the smarter way to get unlimited and see what's new on October 8th. Bruce Buffer now with that decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round two, Anthony Pettis' quarter has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. 805 I love you, baby. XTA. Home team. Christina, I fucking love you, baby. Armand Anthony, love you. I'm here with the winner, Tony Ferguson. First of all, Tony, welcome back and thank you for an amazing performance. That was incredible. What a wild fight for as long as it lasted. Where you at, McNugget, you fucking piece of shit? I'm gonna kick your ass! If fucking Khabib don't do it, I will! Son of a bitch, I'll give you a proper ass whooping any day. Let's get back to the baddest fight, because that was a wild fight, man. First of all, what a quick turnaround from your knee surgery to come back. Was there any concern at all that you would rush this? No, man, no. Now, you fought one of the best strikers in the division, walked him down, but you did get clipped. At one point in the fight, how bad were you hurt? I had fucking fun in there. It wasn't nobody was gonna take this fucking time from me. I went in there and act like it was sparring. I missed this shit for one year. You fucking fans are fucking amazing. I love you. I'm not gonna talk no more. I'm done. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, UFC. I'm fucking back. Thank you, Tony. Tony Ferguson, ladies and gentlemen. 
Tony Ferguson back in a big way tonight. That post-fight interview brought to you by EA Sports UFC 3. Get up to 50% off, including exclusive in-game content with the new limited time UFC 3 Notorious Edition available on Xbox One and PS4 until October 16th. Joe Rogan. All right, I'm here. First of all, Anthony, thank you for a wild fight for as long as it lasted. And it looked like you were having a great time out there. Hell yeah, I had a fucking great time. I'll do it again. I broke my fucking hand. The one I hit him with, broke my fucking hand, man. So I tried to put him away. It started hurting when I was throwing it, so I lost a big weapon in there. But no, hey, no fucking excuses. Tony's a fucking tough Mexican, bro. Thanks for the fight. Well, listen, this was the old Anthony Pettis. You came out wild. You came out creative. You clipped him. You had him hurt at one point in time. That's a tough guy, bro. I hit him with the right hand. I, I felt my hand shatter. I'm like, shit, you know, I, I, I should have choked him out, but uh, he's, a, he's a soldier, bro. I, I tested that leg, his, his, his leg, he, he withstood it, but uh, I just started to put on the show for all the fans and have a good time doing it, man. So thank y'all for coming here, bro. Had a great fucking time. Can't wait to do it again. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for an amazing fight. Anthony Pettis, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta think some bonus money will be coming the way of Anthony Showtime, Pettis, and Tony Ferguson. After what they produced here tonight for mixed martial arts fans around the world.